Hi, I'm Liz McDonald teaching at my studio Brazilian Yoga and Pilates. I'm here to show you Balasana or Child's Pose. Child's Pose is a great pose. Another pose, yet again, that's good for grandma. I've put many a grandma in Child's Pose and not worried about a thing. This is good for almost everybody and if you have small problems like creaky knees or something like that, we have easy solutions. We've got a blanket on standby, but if you don't have a blanket, you can always just kind of double up your mat a little bit. Um, we have some blocks on standby for people that want to uh, take it up a notch. And then we have a bolster that we're going to use for people who want to do restorative. Again, a bolster can be replaced with a pillow or a fat blanket, anything like that. So let us start. Once again, from all fours, wide hands right beneath the shoulders. Find that spot where you feel the head of the humerus or the head of the arm bone kind of hovering in the center of the shoulder joint. Take the knees directly underneath the hips, swish them back and forth again. Find a place that feels good. Inhale and grow your spine long. Exhale, pull your navel to your spine. And then slowly walk the hands out. The best thing about child's pose is the way you get into it because it feels really great if you provide a little bit of resistance here and just kind of like a cat stretch. Let it ripple all the way from the tailbone down to the fingers. Now this is actually lightning bolt pose or modified child's pose. So if this feels really yummy, you can definitely chill here for a little bit. But the classical pose is with the hands beside the feet. And then you can even get really kind of lazy about it and let the shoulders roll forward and let the heart melt forward. Let me squish the nose a little bit, but um, probably you won't be talking. <laughs> Continue breathing. And you can stay here from five to 10 to 20 breaths. Child's pose is really great, especially if you have a headache, because it's nice to just ground your forehead to the floor and kind of release some of the junk. Um, if you have funky knees, you can either gather up your mat and make a little pad for it, or you can take the blanket across the mat. And now I would make it actually a little less thick. So about like so, and then you can do the same pose. Hmm. Now, for those of you who are like, I want something different, let's spice this up. We're gonna grab some blocks. If you don't have blocks, you can use telephone books or thick books that you may have at home. You just want them to be the same height. Place them about where your hands are gonna go, and then start to kind of kitty cat forward, moving the blocks with you until you find that spot uh, this is going to feel really nice if you get into it slow. Take the scenic route, keep finding that long spine on your way down, and then just vertebra by vertebra, let them fall down, kind of like piano keys, all the way until you rest your forehead. Then press into the outer edge of your hand, or the pinky side and see that you can kind of roll your shoulder blades around the side of your rib cage. Lift your head a few times and just feel all the space you have for your neck now. Inhale, once again, stretch forward, spacious ribs. Exhale, melt the heart forward. And stay in child's pose anywhere from five to 10 breaths if you're loving it. Of course, if you're on the brink of enlightenment, please just turn off the video <laughs> and stay. And really the key to a great child's pose is just to melt. And then come on up. I'll show you the bolster variation as well. You can take the knees a little bit wider than usual. This is from restorative yoga. And then you can place it right between your, your little, little legs here. And then lay the belly and the sternum down nice and long. And then just turn the head to one side. 
Night night. <laughs> this is a really great way to melt. And this is also really nice. I call this breakup pose. <laughs> it's just great to just allow your heart to soften and ground. <sighs> Breathe into the back muscles a little bit. And typically restorative poses you can take for a while, you know, anywhere from two to three or even five minutes if you've been practicing a while. Yes, believe it or not, it can take a long time to learn how to do that. Something very comforting about child's pose. So if you need it longer, then please stay. But if you're finished, I'm Liz, teaching at Brazilian Yoga and Pilates. Thanks for watching Child's Pose.